While some Texans found fun in the snow, Austinite Richard Pounds spent his Monday trying to free his car from the grip of winter. Got to go get more gas for the generator. Our power's been out since 3 a.m. This storm has drawn comparisons to other historic weather events. It's the electricity and storm equivalent of the 100 year flood that people know about. The Public Utility Commission is working alongside the manager of the Texas power grid, ERCOT, to restore power amid record demand. The governor says the state's power grid has not been compromised. Rather, it froze. The operational facilities froze up, and this includes power providers ranging from natural gas uh, to coal to uh, all different forms of energy. Power companies also started rolling blackouts. Those blackouts initiated to ease the strain on the grid, but lasting longer than expected while more electricity is built back up. Unfortunately, because the, the excessive demand and the, and the loss of those generation assets uh, due to various causes, um, we're just in a tough spot right now. If we don't have more supply, the only thing we can do is start to reduce demand on the system. To help increase the supply, people with power are asked to do a few things. Turn that thermostat down just a few degrees. Unplug any devices you don't need. Don't use any big appliances like the dishwasher or do your laundry. And make sure to close the blinds to help keep your home warm. In Austin, I'm Wes Rappaport.